to like nine foot. Right, cut it in a little bit. Nah, just for the one. Yeah. Barry, that's a keeper. Don't lose them. Yeah, let's keep it. Yeah, just out of your way, as long as you're good. Nice. Nice car. Actually, gotta be five and a quarter now. Oh, he's way big enough. He's actually a jumbo, not jumbo, but a large. Large. Something. Same ass little crab. Is it a peeler? No, that's. In it. Keep her. Don't lose them.
freaking amazing. Bunch of little bait fish. Never caught a Maryland snake before. Of course, I got the frog. Wow, it's freaking low. The kids would definitely love this. This is actually like prime snakehead habitat, honestly. Oh, crab right there. Two crabs. Got him. Got him. That's a freaking bass. Nice freaking bass, dude. Let's go. He just popped off. Let's freaking go. Nice freaking bass. Oh, he's got a nasty thing on his head. That's a four pounder all day. Three and a half, four. Oh, his eyes messed up too. Dude, how sick is that? We got largemouth back here in crystal clear water. Dude, he's feisty. Please tell me if I was recording. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just caught him. I just he caught a freaking carp. Or goldfish. Baby carp. Talk about good bait right there. I don't know, I guess it's a baby carp. If you guys know what kind of fish that is, I mean, looks like a goldfish carp to me. I don't know if it's a common carp. It's not doing too well. Maybe he was just, somebody was just using them as bait. Man, there's just no water back here. Nice, don't lose them. Oh, coming in clutch. Shoo. That's a good one. Look at his claws. Ooh, pretty. See that? Yeah, that's a caper all day. All right, this other pot's like right here. I got it in reverse though. You're good. Shake them. Nice crab. Hey. Nice crab. That's a that's a big one. Mm. Alright, it's a nice little mm. crabbing spot. We're doing better. I mean about we, equal, we're about to break even. We didn't really been we haven't really been crabbing though, but 
Yeah, shake them off. There you go. Nice. That's a good one. That's a nice little dinner right there. Ooh. Just need one more. What is up guys welcome back to my house i'm all cleaned up we're home oh man today's been a long day um but yeah man about to cook up these crabs there i mean it's not a lot but we got enough to eat something i was hoping to get more but i really got like add man i can never it's really hard for me just to crab on my boat i always want to fish some type of fish and i was really hoping to get into some snakeheads but i I was rushing around. I didn't expect it to be. I didn't check the tides. It was like dead low tide when we when we, we were there. So that spot was kind of washed out. Still got that nice that nice bass though. All right, let's go get these crabs. I got a bucket. I got them iced down in my boat. So we go. All right. I thought we had more, I'm not going to lie. It's only four crabs. Alright, we got our lonely four crabs. Oh, he's coming back. Getting a little wash. Freaking leech. Got my big pot, which don't even really need a pot this big, honestly. Could use a small pot, but we'll just do it. This thing's pretty cool. Put it in the bottom. It keeps the crabs out of the liquid because you want to steam these crabs, not bo not boil them. So just keep just remember that. I'll definitely pick up one of those or some kind of grate or something to keep the crabs up. And then let me grab my stuff. All right, we got a beer. This is a Mickey Slim Lime. Uh, you can use any beer. I don't know, this is what my girl has right now in the house. Pour that in. Whole thing. I got some apple cider vinegar. Good dose of that. And that's your liquid, so you're not even using water. I'm not even using any, any water. And then the white vinegar, that's to eat them later. That's the dip. That's my, that's my jam right there. You guys know about dipping crab meat in white vinegar? Let me know, because that's my favorite thing in the world. All right, so we got that. We're gonna boil this. So this small amount of crabs, I mean, it's not gonna take long at all, honestly. But usually you do them for about 20 minutes until they're all bright red, no spot, no dark spots. And, and when you ice them down, it, it helps them. He's waking up, but when you ice them down, it helps them from the claws falling off because when you throw them in there, when they're alive, alive and kicking, I mean, they're still alive, but they're not kicking. Uh, their defense mechanism is to drop their claws because they're dying. So if you, if you freeze them, if you put them on, if you ice them down, they won't do that. A little tip for you. Oh, and also we got some, we got some J.O.'s. Nothing against Old Bay. I use Old Bay too. I just happen to have J.O. And we'll put that in later. When it's ready but then. so yeah we're just exploring around this river it's a it's a river in maryland um if you know it then you know it but i'm not gonna i mean it doesn't matter so we were exploring this river around a, it's in it's a river in maryland it's only like 30 minutes from our house so it's cool we found a nice little new spot to hang out it's not like driving it an hour each way with the boat 
So it's nice and easy. Um, this is actually where my daughter River called her giant carp. It was just on like, we were just on the other side of the river. If you haven't seen that video, man, I'll put the link in the description below. Please go check it out. One of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. It just made me so happy as a dad. She's so happy. She still talks about it all the time. So please just go check that video out. She's, she'll appreciate it. And I'm glad when she's older, she'll have, she'll be able to watch that video. You know what I mean? And I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, this, uh, these crabs should be ready to go in here soon. Should be boiling. All right. So we got some steam coming out. Like I said, there's only four crabs, so. Oh, jeez. I'm actually going to throw some J.O. in. Oh, this guy fully woke up. Get him in there. Yep, they're waking up quick. This guy's out cold. All right, so we're gonna throw, so we may lose some claws. Put your seasoning on top. Get this lid back on. I'm gonna set a timer for it's still 16 minutes. Not that many crabs, like I was saying. And then we'll check them when they're done. Oh, guys, man, I'm really, I'm, I'm struggling right now. Don't have newspaper. I wanted to get stop and get corn on the cob so bad. <sighs> Don't have corn on the cob. Usually, you can throw corn on the cob right on, right on top of some crabs when they're steaming with some old bay on there. Man, so good. I mean, we're, we, we kind of just messed around today. We only caught four crabs, but I am going to do a series of video coming up soon. August and September are pretty good crabbing months, or really good crabbing months, I should say. But I only got like six pots, so it's like, it is what it is. But I just want to dedicate, I go, maybe we'll go down further. I definitely want to go down further south to like the Chester River, the Y River, one of those good rivers with those nice big crabs and put a whole day into it, you know what I mean? Of course, maybe we'll fish for stripers too. I mean, how can you not? But let's check them out. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, guys, the timer just went off at 16 minutes. They're pretty much fully done. I just turned it off. I'm gonna let them sit there for another minute. Yeah, they're looking good. And then I'll put them on the table. Had to use a trash bag, so. Yeah. All right, guys, they're done. That's gonna do it for me, man. Um, I am gonna say Brittany one or two. Don't worry about that. She had to run to her mom's to do something. Um, yeah, man. I wish I had a bunch more, but not bad for a couple hours. Fun time going out on the, on the river, catching something to eat. Can't beat that. Thanks for watching, guys.